from the studio audience from the Schmutz Lodge. The first stop on our world tour of Pittsburgh. Being in your hearts as well as your modems, it's the Unemployment Show with the my year. I'm out. You know, I'm checking out, man. And uh, I wish I wouldn't have done that. Separate crowd of people up in my bedroom. Yeah, they actually love this show. Uh, so, alright. So, I'm thinking, okay, what have I done with myself? I'm 33. This is the year that I said I was going to die, man. And if I die, what will I have accomplished? What will I have done? So I put together this list of People who die when they're 33. This is, I have these fingerless unemployment gloves that you wear on unemployment lines and you drink like soup with. And uh, they, have, they, have, they have thumbs on them. I really wish I would have cut the thumbs off. But um, I didn't. I might cut them off now with my thumbs still in there. Okay, people who died when they were 33 John Belushi, American actor and comedian, overdose of cocaine and heroin. Uh, guy's name. Big Mo and Big Mellow, American rappers. Uh, you know, American rappers, I think that's like a pretty long lifetime for American rapper. Uh, Eva Braun, uh, Adolf Hitler's lover, suicide. William S. Burroughs, liver failure. I thought he lived longer than that, but I guess not. Uh, Sam Cooke, American soul musician, homicide. Uh, Steve Curry, the bassist from T-Rex, car crash, 81. Uh, Chris Farley. Another comedic actor, uh, cocaine and heroin overdose. Blind Boy Fuller, an American blues singer and guitarist. A uh, guy named Jesus. <laughs> Carol Lombard, she was the wife of Clark Gable, aircraft cat crash. Uh, who else here? Eva Perón, Argentinian actress, wife of the president. Uh, Harry Nelson Pillsbury, everyone's heard of him. Uh, American chess player, died of syphilis. Surprised with that is that anyone gave him the chance to get syphilis. <laughs> Chess players, I think they got a lot of ass, but I suppose <laughs> Harry made it happen. Um, and then everybody knows Pimp C, another American rapper. Uh, ac accidental codeine overdose in conjunction with sleep apnea. This is a big fat guy. Um, Keith Relf, British singer, harmonica player from the Yardbirds. He ac accidentally uh, electric sh 
actually shocked himself while playing his electric guitar. You guys know that? <laughs> uh, Richard II of England, uh, Henry IV, probably homicide or starvation, uh, Dutch Schultz, American gangster, gunshot, Bon Scott, Australian hard rock singer, ACDC, acute alcoholic poisoning, and uh, Theo Van Gogh, a uh, Dutch art dealer. He's the guy that somebody, he received him an ear in the mail. Uh, uh, so I look at those guys and I think, mm -hmm. all right, I can, have, I can do that. I could be 33, and, uh, and uh, but, but I don't think I, I don't think I'm quite up to stuff with them. Uh, it's, it's a it's a it's a frightening prospect. Uh, so we move on from being 33 years old, and we have an extra chair up here. And I had a guy who um, I don't he might have died at, at 33, <laughs> but he didn't he he didn't show up. He couldn't be here tonight. So I'm gonna reach out to the audience. Is anybody here who wants to be the fourth guest and fill the chair? People are pointing at each other. People are getting nervous. He's some people look. Some people look really confident. <laughs> we can do it with just three people. There she is. Let's get her. Let's get her right here. Let's get her right here. This is a great way to start our introduction. We'll start with we'll start with the late part. I'm Maya Henry. I love cock and Lawrenceville. Yeah. yeah, a lot of cock in Lawrenceville. <laughs> Who was it named after? David Lawrence? Or uh, Joey Lawrence? He had a cock. Don't give up the ship. Oh, yeah, yeah. Joey Lawrence. Who the hell are you? Get to ask this all the time. Uh, my name is Sandra Beasley. I'm from Washington, D.C., and I'm a writer. Excellent. Woo! I, I've heard of one. I, now, you know, that seems such a sufficient intro when I was standing inside the Magic Castle, and now following that, I'm. You write for me, but what do you do? Slinkies. I collected slinkies. Okay. I never managed it. Slinkies and pinup art. I have yet to make a living off of either one of these things, but I'm working on combining the two in a form that will somehow be lucrative and profitable. Slinky pinups. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and who are you? you have uh, my name is Teresa, and I um, have a company that employs adults with developmental disabilities through the production of creative greeting cards. Cool. What's your company called? Fortunato Smile. Hi, I'm Marion Simak, and I've done just about everything. I consider myself a jack of all trades. Yes. Jane of all trades. Jane. Oh, <laughs> Fantastic. I'm not going to tell you what I do. It's, it's pathetic. But uh, we're going to get to right, right to it. Okay, so you've done just about everything, Marion. What, what, which, which part of everything are you doing now? I'm secretary now. All right, cool. Where? I work for Matori Brothers on Penn Avenue between 39th and 40th. They sharpen knives, tools, lawnmowers. Scissors. Wits. Pardon? Are they sharpen wits? They're, they're working on that. 